CompTIA A Plus Core 2, 220-1102, Practice Exam. Questions 116 through 120. This video is part of our practice exam video series and is filled with questions that closely resemble the real exam. So are you prepared to test your knowledge? Great, let's begin. Question 116. After a visual inspection of a user's device, a technician finds a USB drive connected to the computer that contains two suspicious files, data underscore capture dot exe and log underscore output dot txt. Which of the following attacks is most likely occurring? The answer is, D. Key logger. The presence of files named data underscore capture dot exe and log underscore output dot txt suggests that the attack involves capturing and logging user data. This type of attack typically aims to steal sensitive information, such as passwords or personal data, by logging the user's keystrokes. The discovered USB drive and the nature of the files would likely indicate that a keystroke recording program is active on the computer. Question 117. An administrator working with a Linux system needs to view all files in a directory, including hidden ones. Which of the following ls command options will display hidden files and directories? The answer is a ls-a. When using the ls command on a Linux system, the dash a option ensures that all files, including those that are hidden, are displayed in the directory listing. This is particularly useful for viewing configuration files and other hidden data that might be crucial for various system operations or software configurations. Question 118. A company has a policy to shred all sensitive documents before disposal to prevent unauthorized access to information. Which of the following social engineering attacks is most likely avoided by this practice? The answer is, A. Dumpster diving. Dumpster diving involves searching through trash to find valuable information that has been discarded. Shredding sensitive documents before disposal prevents attackers from retrieving and using discarded information. This practice specifically counters attacks where individuals search through physical trash to find valuable data. Proper disposal of documents, including shredding, helps ensure that sensitive information is not accessible to unauthorized individuals. Question 119. A technician is setting up a new computer system and is deciding which file system to use for optimal performance and compatibility with the latest version of Microsoft Windows. They want to choose a file system that replaced the older FAT file system. Which of the following file systems should the engineer choose to best meet these requirements? The answer is, D. NTFS. NTFS, which stands for New Technology File System, is a file system developed by Microsoft for its Windows operating system. It was introduced to replace the older FAT file system and offers several advantages over its predecessor. NTFS supports larger file sizes and volumes, improved data security through file encryption, and better reliability with features like journaling. It also includes advanced functionalities like file compression and file permissions, making it the preferred choice for modern Microsoft Windows systems. Question 120. A company's IT department needs to grant local administrative privileges to an employee on their workstation. Which control panel utility in Microsoft Windows 10 should the technician use to accomplish this task? The answer is, C. User Accounts. The User Accounts utility in the control panel is used to manage user permissions and account types. Through this utility, a technician can change a user's account type from a standard user to an administrator, thereby granting them local administrative privileges. This allows the user to perform tasks that require administrative rights, such as installing software or changing system settings. So, did any of these questions give you a tough time? Don't worry if they did, it's all part of the learning process. Luckily, Certification Synergy has a wealth of free video content at your disposal. To stay connected with our latest IT learning resources, 
just give a quick click on the subscribe button. This simple action ensures you're always updated about our newest video releases. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more great content.